Artemis Intelligent Power grew out of wave and tidal energy research, initially carried out at the University of Edinburgh. In 2010, the SME was acquired by Japan's Mitsubishi Heavy Industries, and with this investment, it continues to grow. So when I started at Artemis, um, uh, there were four of us, and we were working out of a port cabin. We had a little workshop, uh, which we were sort of uh, borrowing time in, and we were more or less squatting in some space that the university didn't really want. It didn't look as though we were a, a big company or a company with huge potential to an outside eye. But what we knew is that we had something fundamental that was a fundamental advance on conventional technology. It's very, very difficult to start with something that's moving very irregularly and slowly with very high force and turn that into electrical power. You need a kind of transmission. Just like your car has a gearbox, a wave energy device needs a kind of gearbox and that didn't exist. And that was the light bulb moment when um, they realized that they could make a much more efficient transmission by switching individual cylinders off in real time as the demand uh, changed. So digital displacement by contrast, we disable cylinders which are not needed for the current power level. And those disabled cylinders actually have very little additional what we call parasitic loss. And it means that the cylinders which are used are working hard and are very efficient. Cylinders which are not used are essentially out of the game and are not uh, causing losses. And that means that the technology is fundamentally much more efficient. The organization of Artemis has actually evolved around the needs of our technology such that we have this multidisciplinary team. But we try and keep the same group of people attached to the same part of same, the same machines through that process as it goes round and round the loop. And I think that means that people have a much better understanding of all parts of the process. Artemis was acquired by Mitsubishi in uh, November 2010. And really the big uh, impetus for that was that Mitsubishi wanted to move into offshore wind, uh, but they didn't want to do it as a me too. They wanted to have a unique technology which played to their strengths in, in, in heavy engineering. But since then, they've realised that this technology is a game changer across a wide range of industries. In 2014, the company's unique digital displacement hydraulics technology was installed in Scotland's first offshore wind turbine test facility at Hunterston in North Ayrshire. Working with Mitsubishi, Artemis, now with 50 employees, is making the largest hydraulic drives in the world. Artemis really is a British company, uh, although we have a multinational uh, component. And so we feel a very strong connection uh, to the UK and we want the UK to benefit from what we're doing here. It's been a tremendous journey and the fact that we've got this far, that we've got bought by a, a multinational company with this kind of reach is really, really, it's an extraordinary achievement, I think.